The EDC lineup has finally dropped and I don't know if it's like this all the time but the festival is just over a month away and I feel like they released the lineup so late. This is my first EDC so I don't really know if that's how it normally goes but we were waiting a very long time. There are other festivals I'm going to way later that their lineups have been out for quite some time. So, so this year we got our tickets. I didn't really have any expectations besides the fact that it's going to be big, obviously. EDC is probably the first big festival that I had ever been aware of. I was never drawn to big commercial type festivals. In the early days, I was more into like the camping style festivals, smaller tight knit festivals, but there's no denying the talent and the insane lineups that these big festivals bring in and EDC is no exception. I am very much looking forward to this year. I know a lot of you are upset that Skrillex is not on the lineup. Uh, I am also a little upset. Hardwell for sure as well. Charlotte DeWitt. These are big names that we were hoping to see this year. However, it is what it is. There is so many amazing artists on this lineup every day. There is just so much for everyone, I truly believe. Today we're gonna to be doing a bit of a deep dive into the entire lineup. I am going to go through each and every artist. Obviously there's a ton that I don't know, but I did try to do some research and just look into all of the artists. I am working on curating my top 10 lists and artists that I really wanna see. Of course, it's gonna depend on how they do the time slots for the lineups. You can only see so many. I mean, geez, it is going to be three days of madness. And I've already started my endurance training just so I can keep up. So uh, without any further ado, let's hop on into this lineup and break it down and just get really hyped together. So let's go. All right, so on Friday, we are starting off with Above and Beyond, you guys. They're my favorite, they're trance. I've only actually seen them one other time. Um, but it was one of the most magical sets of my life. So I'm very very much looking forward to seeing them again I just think they are essential. Yeah, highly highly recommend them. Alice in Wonderland She is future based slash trap from what I understand. I know she's really good. I've never seen her before um, But that is her genre. Annabelle England house and vocals. She's got a very beautiful voice I don't know too much about her that's pretty much all I know. Andy C is drum and bass. He's obviously like the godfather of drum and bass and I'm very much looking forward to that. He's also playing Sham this year, but I will be going to EDC first. So we'll see if I can catch him there. I hope I can. Arm & Hammer, they are a little bit multi-genre, I believe. Like they do dubstep, but they also do trance, maybe. I don't know, haven't heard of them. We'll see. Art Bat, I love Art Bat. They are more progressive, deep house, really have a very cool sound from Ukraine. Yeah, I would love to check them out for sure. Um, Azeka, I believe is house, barely alive, dubstep, trap, D&B. Um, our first B2B set is Biscuits, Back to Back, Martin Iken. I don't know if I said that right, but I have been listening to both of them for a very long time. They are tech house, and that's kind of what I'm going to be expecting from this uh, set. I would like to check that out, I think. I'm going to add that to my list. Blastoise is trance. Blue Claire, tech house, funky. I like what I've heard so far. Corolla is house, champagne drip, dubstep, bass. Cloverdale is house, cosmic gate is trance. The Tweekas, hard style. There's a lot of hard style on this um, lineup. I'm really excited about it because I'm underexposed to hard style. I do feel very underexposed. We don't have enough hard style here in Canada. So I'm very much looking forward to um, the big production and just seeing all of that there. After that, we've got David Guetta. Uh, I think we all know who David Guetta is. I would classify him. I think if I think of EDM as a genre. I would think of David Guetta. Um, house, mainstream, not really my cup of tea, although he, you know, he had a lot of hits. We all know who he is, so not really on my list. But uh, yeah, moving on, we have David Morales, which is Feel Good House. Uh, Disco Dom, I had to look this one up. So apparently this is Dombreski's Disco alter ego where he plays like literal throwback disco 
classic track. So that's pretty cool. I would have never known that had I not looked into it. So I think that's really neat. Uh, disco lines, definitely on my list as well. Future bass, house, trap kind of style. Uh, DJ anime is hardcore, high energy. DJ Isaac, hard style. Dr. Funk, hard style, kind of soft techno from what I understand. Uh, Duke DeMont, house, deep, melodic. Um, we've got Dustin Hussein, which is trance. Is it Eli Brown or L Eli Brown? I really like his stuff. He's on my list for sure. More progressive house and techno and just, yeah, he's got a very unique sound and I'm very much looking forward to that. Gonna put a star by his name. Uh, eliminate, dubstep and trap. Eptic, dubstep, bass house. Uh, another back-to-back -back set, Fallen, B2B, Richer with MC Dino. I believe this is DNB. I haven't heard of any of them before. Ferry Corsten, we all know Ferry Corsten. Trance, um, he's been in, in the game for a long time. Progressive House, I also think of Electro when I think about him. Uh, Fisher, of course, Tech House. Um, Friction, Drum and Bass, I caught his All-Stars D&B set and I was blown away, so I'm happy to see him on this lineup. If I can check him out, I definitely will, because uh, I love some good D&B. Uh, Frost Top is dubstep and kind of down-tempo. Next up we have Funt Case, dubstep, Galantis, which is Electro House. It's definitely more on the mainstream side. I caught them back in 2019. They were good, definitely good but not something I'm gonna go out of my way to see at EDC. Um, we've got Grizz, Funk, Dubstep, Big Band. We all love Grizz. I mean, I love Grizz. Um, I'm gonna try to catch his set. However, I'll be seeing him at Shambhala as well. So next up we have Hannah, which is Trance. Hint of Lavender is House. Hugo is House. James Hype. James Hype is on this lineup three times i believe and i think that is a little repetitive and a little ridiculous he's an incredible um artist his showmanship is next level he is very talented at what he does and i do like him but to see him on here three days in a row it's a little much um but he is very good so i mean if you don't catch him one day you can catch him another day for sure uh jerome is my don't know if i said that right progressive house I think that one's going to be on my list. Um, Kayvon, Kayvon, Dubstep, Kill Script, Techno, Cream, Tech House, and Melodic. Lady Sinclair, House, Techno, Disco, um, Lenny D's, Hardcore, and Techno. Uh, Lil Texas, now this guy kind of threw me for a spin. I was not really expecting what I saw, but his energy is very high. I would put him in the hard style, like hardcore category. And my interest is peaked, so may have to check him out. Uh, Loco Dice, Back to Back Fisher. I'm expecting Melodic, Tech House. Um, that one could be cool. I've seen Fisher before, so he's not on my priority, but maybe this Back to Back set would be neat. Uh, Louis Vega is more of a classic and old school house. Love Fingers and Heidi Lauden is house. Martin De Jong is trance. Mark V. I don't know who Mark V is. I initially thought Marco V. Um, I believe Mark V is a rapper, but correct me if I'm wrong. I couldn't really find anything on him. Marshmallow, I think we kind of all know. Not my highest on my list. Um, probably not going to go catch him. He's more electro house, dubstep, mainstream. A lot of us know who he is. Who is on my list, however, is Matroda. Um, he is house melodic he's amazing he's been on my list for quite a while so definitely gonna try to check him out matt fax is progressive house slash techno uh, medusa is another house artist um definitely more mainstream but i really like his stuff so i might try to check that out memba trap and future bass i like memba i think that would be a really cool set to check out mike dunn is soul and house Miss Dre is house. Nostalgic's a Canadian girl. Pretty excited to see her on there. Um, I guess she's a bass house, and I don't think I've seen her before. She's been on uh, lineups that I've attended, but I have never actually got to catch her, so we'll see if I can catch that one. Odd Mob, love Odd Mob. Very unique uh, vocal 
tracks and remixes. I don't really know how to describe the music, but it's definitely house. Also playing at Shambhala, so we'll see. Omar Santana is hardcore. Patrick Topping looks pretty cool. Had, hadn't heard of him before, um, but he's like on the house techno, and I really liked what I heard from him, so he's on the list. Paul Denton is uh, tech trance, trance. Pauline Her is trap slash pop. Um, Pretty Pink is Progressive House, Reaper, Drum and Bass, drop slash Jump Up, Riot 10, B2B, Jessica, Audie Fred, uh, looking like dubstep, Said the Sky, Mainstream Dubstep, San Pacho, Tech House, Shay, Heart, Shay, Shy, Hardcore, Side Piece, which is Party Favor and Nitty Gritty, their house, I've seen them before, very, very good, Sound Rush, Hardstyle, Sullivan King, back to back Kaiwachi. Haven't heard of Kaiwachi before, but I'm expecting this to be dubstep. Uh, Sullivan King is kind of like metal. First side trance I've seen on this whole lineup, and I think the whole lineup in total is uh, Vinny Vici, which is, he's really good, but I would have liked to see a little more side trance. I think he's playing both Friday and Saturday. So yeah, there's that. Um, Warface, Hardstyle, Wax Motif, Back to Back Mala, Houts, Future House. I'm very much looking forward to this set. I've seen Wax Motif a few times. I've not seen Mala yet. So to see them two combined, I think it's gonna make for a really good show and I'm definitely gonna be there. Yatep, Future Bass, Dubstep, and Deep Bass. I haven't heard of that one either. So day one is looking pretty good. I'm really excited to dive a little bit deeper into some of these, the ones that I hadn't heard of before. There was a couple that definitely piqued my interest. So I'm gonna be listening to them a little more over the next couple days. I think my top so far from this day would be Wax Motif and Mala, Matroda, Biscuits, Back to Back Martin Iken, Above and Beyond, Andy C, Art Bat, Medusa, Memba, um, um, Hannah perhaps, Lil Texas, and Patrick Topping, they all sound pretty good. Let me know who you can miss on Friday because I love hearing other people's preferences and their tastes and yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really good first day, get you in the groove and yeah, let's move on to Saturday. So Saturday, we're starting off with 12th Planet, which is dubstep, maybe D&B as well. A craze, house, uh, Afrojack playing a sunrise set. So I thought that was pretty neat. Afrojack plays like techno, like hardcore, house, a little bit of everything. So that one I think will be good. I have not seen Afrojack before. AK Sports, techno, a lock, tech house, at dusk is trance, audio freak is hard style. Um, ben Nicky presents emotional havoc. So I'm expecting tech trance. I have not seen Ben Nicky. Let me know what you think. Ben UFO is uh, experimental techno. Definitely a little out there, but could be really good. Billy Gillies is trance. I just saw him recently, always amazing. Boris Bredcha, I'm actually gonna be seeing him in two weeks, but he's playing EDC as well. So that's pretty exciting. He's just incredible, minimal, just very unique, and definitely gonna try to check him out if I can. Uh, Camden Cox is progressive, Chani Chaney is house, Chris Lake house, uh, Sid back to back Sage Armstrong, that one kind of piqued my interest, I'm gonna be expecting some deep house coming out of that set, we shall see. Coon is hardstyle, Danny Days is technical, experimental house and breakbeat, Darren Styles is hardstyle, um, Dionysus and Yusef prevent bigger, stronger, faster, that sounds like a pretty big hard style uh, situation going on there. So that could be cool. I don't really know a lot from them. So let me know if you're gonna catch that one. Dom Dalla, love Dom Dalla. Um, tech house and house. Dom Bresky is house, love him as well. Excision back to back Dion Timmer. I'm expecting a dubstep set. I have not heard of Dion before, but Excision I feel is pretty self-explanatory. I'm kind of on the mat. I've seen him before, but it's been ages and uh, yeah, let me know if you're gonna be catching that set. Fallon, couldn't really find anything, so let me know if you know, if this, is this someone's alter ego? Not too sure. Uh, Ferric Dawn is Tech House. Fury, B2B, Night Stalker, D&B. 
Uh, Gareth Emery presents Decades. That sounds pretty cool. And Gareth Emery specialty set. So this will be trance. I'm intrigued. We'll see. Giuseppe Ottaviani is also trance and also amazing. Love to check him. Abstract is House. Hot Since 82 is House. Hades is dubstep, kind of trap. James Hype again. James, James, James. Um, just looked him up. It's like techno, kind of industrial, but soft. It's very intrigued. So that's something that is just different. It sounded a lot different to me. Um, John Briars is techno and tech house. Jorza is trance. Just Junior is trap and Moombatin, which I didn't even know people were still playing Moombatin, but you know what? I am all for it. I really like that style. I think he has got some good energy. Cascade, pretty self-explanatory, progressive house, just amazing. Saw him last year and uh, was very good. So Keytranida, I was a little surprised to see Keytranida on this lineup. I'd really like to check out that set if I could. Um, Keytranida is more like Afrobeat, hip hop, and funk, very unique sound. I remember the first time I heard a Keytranida song was on the Weather Network, and it immediately piqued my interest. I looked it up right away and just listened to all of the music. So that would be really cool to check out. Kedema is like techno and breaks and house. Corolva, Techno and Progressive. Lady Faith is Hardstyle. Layla Benitez is House. Is it Mopi or Mop? I just want to call it Mop. Uh, house, I do enjoy that music very much. Metric, back to back graphics. I'm expecting Liquid DNB and just overall amazing DNB. I love both of these artists, so that should be cool. Mian is House. Michael Beebe is on my list. Tech House and Breakbeat and just all around. Very uh, unique sound. We like Michael VB. Mokak, don't really know how to pronounce that. Tech House, Moda Pit, Tech House, Moody Good, Throwback Set, Dubstep. Hmm. Uh, Morton is House and Future Bass. Uh, Miss Mata, Back to Back, Baki Baki, Techno, I'm not sure. Haven't really heard them before. Nala is experimental, kind of down tempo house, I would say. Netski, DNB, very good. Noizu is house. Uh, Paco Osuna is techno and tech house. Uh, Sway is hardstyle. Sub Zero Project is hardstyle. Just saw them and they were pretty good, I have to say. Uh, Subtronics is dubstep. Sullivan King is like dubstep slash metal. Um, first date I went on with Adam, that's where we went We went to see, and it was very out of my comfort zone, but I had such a good time. That show, I thought it was really good. Um, probably not on my list for EDC. Sudden Death, Into the Inferno, that looks like a specialty dubstep set. The Martinez Brothers, House and Techno. Tiesto, pretty self-explanatory. Um, Trance, Bass House, Deep House. I feel like he's very multi-genre now. I also just saw him recently and he's always a good time. I don't know if he is on my list for EDC just because there's so many artists that I haven't seen yet, um, but you can never go wrong with Tiesto. Triode is Trance, Valentino Khan is Bass House. I like it. We have Vini Vici again, um, Psytrance, Warface back to back, Disturb. I'm expecting some hard style. Um, West End is Tech House and House. Will Atkinson is Tech Trance and Techno. Wooly is kind of dubstep, multi-genre. Very much a lot of variety going on. Thought it sounded pretty cool. Yoshi and Razner, uh, haven't heard of them either, but they're hard trance and they sound pretty good from what I could tell. Zed is pretty mainstream. I honestly don't know Zed that much, um, but from what I heard, it wasn't really my style. Last up on the Saturday caught me by surprise. Um, Zed's Dead back-to-back -back chase and status. Now, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to see Zed's Dead. I've seen them quite a few times, but this set is really piquing my interest because chase and status are D&B which is very different um, from what you hear from Zed's Dead. So I think the combination is going to be really cool and I don't think I want to miss that. So that's definitely on my list. I love Chase and Status. I will also be seeing them at Sham, but I think that B2B is um, going to be special. So I'm going to try to check it out. Sunday is the day for techno, um, in my opinion. I feel like there's quite a few artists on here that I am really looking forward to seeing. All the days so far look really great, but I think 
I'm going to be doing most of my shuffling on Sunday. So <laughs> on Saturday, I am going to maybe try to rest my legs. I don't know. You can't really plan this stuff, but here I am. I'm trying to be strategic. I just don't want my legs to be dead for Sunday because when it's the music that I really love, I go hard. Sunday, we are starting out with 8Ks. It sounded pretty experimental to me. Um, next up, we have 9999999999, and that is techno, and I am very much looking forward to that set. Uh, 100 drums, dubstep, atmospheric. A band I couldn't find any info on. Uh, a craze back to back noisu. I'm gonna expect some tech house. Adrenalize, adrenalize, hard style. Andon is progressive. Armin van Buren, I mean, he's very influential. He's trance. Um, Baggy, his house. Ben Nicky presents extreme B2B Sub Zero project. So I'm gonna assume that's a hard style set. Um, Bensley, back to back Justin Hawks, DB. Black Tiger Sex Machine, always so incredible. I love them very much. They're more dubstep, trap, aggressive, very unique style, also Canadian. Um, and yeah, they're very good. They're up there for me. I don't know if I'm gonna seek them out, but if I happen to stumble across them, I will enjoy their set. Um, Blanky or Blank, Blanky D&B. Boogie T is dubstep, Borgor B2B level up. Upstep, I am assuming. Brendan Hart is Hardstyle. Capozzi is Tech House, Flash G House. Uh, Chris Lorenzo is House and Bass House. Sid is Tech House. Code Black is Hardstyle. Disturb is Hardstyle. Deadly Guns is Hardcore. Deeper Purpose is House. Dennis Ferrer is House. Uh, Dioro is progressive, um, kind of Latin house, really cool energy. Would like to see him. Dimension is DNB, Dirt Monkey, Dubstep slash Bass, DJ Minx is house, Dombreski is funky and tech house, and all the good things. I, I think he's always a good time. Um, Ellen Eileen is techno, Enamor is deep progressive house, Excision, Dubstep. Frame, um, which is Declan Jams and Decoder. I'm expecting techno. Uh, Frankie Waz, Progressive House and Breaks. Really cool sound. Fred Everything, another Canadian, is Deep House. Gammer, back to back tweak accord, hard style. I'm thinking also happy hardcore. Gareth Emery, uh, Trance, Gentleman's Club, Dubstep. Good Boys, House, Grizztronics, Subtronics, plus Grizz. I feel like you get best of both worlds. I could check that out because I have not seen the two of them combined. I like Grizz. Hannah Wants, I really like. Uh, Minimal House, Deep Tech, very, very good. Hole is Dubstep. I Hate Models. This is another techno artist I have to see. Um, I'd put him under the industrial techno category, very hard. Um, very good. Manu. DNB, J Wara is house, Jaded is DNB, James Hype, we have him again. Here he is again. He just can't get off of this lineup. Jeff Mills, Techno, Joshua is house, Kalina Zanders is multi genre, vocals, uplifting. Uh, Cascade Redux is, I'm assuming, a specialty kind of back to his root set. I would probably pop in for that because I love Cascade. Um, have seen him, like I said before, you can never really go wrong, but I think the specialty set would be cool, just something I've never seen before. Next up is Lane 8. I'm so excited. I finally get to see Lane 8. It's been years, years, and I am very much looking forward to that melodic house and techno and just mm, his essence. You just know it's going to be so good. Um, Le Youth is melodic. Levincon is French core slash hardcore. We have some more Canadian representation, Loud Luxury, Future House, or kind of mainstream. Um, Marshmallow, Back to Back, Sudden Death, Dubstep, I'm gonna guess. Martin Horger is House, I like Martin. Uh, Martin Garrix, Big Room, Dance Pop, Progressive. Midnight Tyrannosaurus, Underground Dubstep. Morotech is hard style slash progressive metal. I'm assuming this is going to be a very dark set. I'm intrigued. Peekaboo is kind of more of that wubby dubstep, multi-genre. 
So Rainier Zonneveld, definitely on my list. I cannot wait for this. It's going to be a live set, um, techno. He's more modern techno, I guess, and just love, absolutely love his sound. So definitely going to check that out. Rob G, 30 years. Man's been in business a while. Um, so that's going to be more hardcore and techno, I'm assuming. Say My Name is Trap, Shrip, Shipwreck <laughs> is House and Techno. Um, this is really interesting. So Slander is trap and kind of future-based. We, I think a lot of us know that. But there's also Slander Presents Before Dawn, which is more of a techno side. So I think that is pretty cool. I listened to a little bit and I, I mean, I love techno. So I would go to that. I think that's pretty cool. Sunny Fedora is very groovy house. I love Sunny, so I could go, I could go for that. Um, Soren is hard style. Space Motion is progressive and techno. Um, Sultan and Shepard, I think they are also Canadian. They are progressive, very, very talented artists, more on the chill side. Uh, Chami Back to Back AC Slater, that one is, I feel like I can't miss that one. I love me some night bass. I love the bass house sound, so that's going to be really good. Um, things you say, and to be honest, I don't know. Like, is that more alter egos? I couldn't really find much on there. I couldn't, I didn't dig very much either, but if you know, please drop it in the comments. Um, so Todd Terry is house. Township Rebellion is house and techno. Tsunami is melodic dance, wax motif, house, and bass house. Will Clark is house, deep house. Yellow Claw is trap, dubstep, and hard style. I like Yellow Claw. And wrapping it up, we've got Yato, which deep and progressive house. Definitely want to check out that set. And the most important headliner of all is you. I think that's very cute how they put that on there. It's very cheesy. But yeah, that is it. We've covered the entire lineup and gone over all of the genres. I am very much looking forward to my first EDC. I just am already very overwhelmed, but in a very good way. And I can't wait to get a more in-depth look at the artists that I really want to see. But I also love leaving some room to just explore while I'm there and see what new artists I find along the way because plans don't always work out, especially at a festival and especially one where I don't really know the setup too well. I'm trying to study a little bit of the stages as much as I can, just so that I have a general idea of the layout. Luckily, Adam has been there before. I think he went like five or six years ago. Um, so it's nice to go with somebody who has been, and there's also a lot of friends that are going that I hope to meet up with when I'm there. Um, I'm going to do a more in-depth video about my top artists, so if you are looking forward to that, I will leave a link somewhere up here and you can check that out if you'd like. But yeah, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to catch you on the dance floor. Again, let me know which artists I might be sleeping on and who you think I should see. Just leave a comment down below. And yeah, much love. Be well. Bye. <laughs>